forecast is a clear indication that fall is here and winter is just around the corner, which is really important for gardeners. With us now is Sam Farah from Edible Flint telling us about a workshop that's geared up to get gardeners ready for the winter season. So what are the workshop is being held today, right, Sam? Yep, tonight, three to five at our demonstration garden, which is across from Hurley Hoff Hospital. We'll be talking about cover crops. Why is it so important to get your plants prepared for winter? Well, it's kind of right now it's it's a it helps with garden sanitation. It also helps get you a jump start in the spring. If you have a lot of this work done now, then it's less that you have to do in the spring and you can get your plants in the ground earlier and hopefully harvest a little earlier. And you have three more workshops coming up in October and mm -hmm. one is all about garlic. Yes, yep, that it will be October 8th um, from 5 to 6 at Flint River Farm, which is at a different location. And it's a farm in Flint, Michigan. Perfect. So for people who don't really know about Edible Flint, uh, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, sure. We are a network of growers, community members, um, anyone who really supports our mission of support of wanting to support Flint residents and growing and accessing healthy food in order to reconnect with the land and each other. So that's kind of the, the basis of what we do. That's amazing. So these are just a few of the workshops that you hold all year round. And if people people want to come to tonight's workshop, give them a little information for tonight. Yep, so for tonight, um, you can call me or go to our website at edibleflint.org to, to register, but tonight's our workshop is going to be about cover crops and it will be three to five at our demonstration garden across from Hurley Hospital. Perfect, and for more information, you can always go to our website at mynbcnews.com. Jill? This is a clear indication that the cooler temperatures are mm -hmm. officially here and that is why, Sam, that we need to really get our plants ready, right? Yep. So we have workshops set up today. What is the workshop covering? Yeah, so today's workshop is covering cover crops actually, which is important to build soil health and, and replenish nutrients back into your garden mm -hmm. so you can get a jump start for spring. And this is just one of three other workshops we are holding in October for the event, mm -hmm. right? Thursday is our, our next workshop and that's going to be covering winter prep, how to take out all those old plants, how to clean your uh, your tools and how to mulch your garden and, and get it all set up and ready so that you have a you have a good jump start for spring. What do you think about mulching your garden? What should you put on your garden? Yeah, I have an example here. Yeah. Um, so for just for the local home gardener, um, right. we all have leaves and we all have grass clippings, right? right. <laughs> but I mean, if you put grass clippings in your garden, is that going to grow grass in your garden? Nope, not if nope. It shouldn't grow no. grass in your garden. You all want right. it to be chopped up and it, it'll just spread it'll be it good. Out. It'll be it's good. good. It'll be okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it right. adds lots of nutrients. Now Joel definitely has a green thumb but this group is for everyone beginners people who have done it forever correct yeah so absolutely yeah. yes yeah. yes this is good for me it absolutely <laughs> is we'll have a range of, of levels and experiences in the in the classroom but if you're a true beginner we actually have a 14 week workshop in the winter time but getting February 2nd um, so if you're a true beginner and you really want to get a good start you can look into that look at the jarred stuff too I mm. love it oh that yeah this last is you a long time yes it can so if you plan a good successful garden then you can can all the stuff and then have it ready for winter and, and this was actually all this, the, all these cannings that I brought was from my garden. So perfect. <laughs> well, if you're interested in the one of the workshops being held later today at the Flint Demo Garden, so make sure you check it out or visit mynbcnews.com.